In this video, we are going to discuss Keyword Efficiency Index, or in short, KEI. Many people new to marketing think that it is the magic formula to achieve high ranking and a steady stream of money. Their claim is supported by the use of KEI for many online uh, keyword tools and uh, thousands of articles from uh, people new to marketing. I say that people who say that keyword efficiency index is great without explaining any of the drawbacks is either out to cheat you or they just don't know any better. But let's try to go through how we calculate uh, KEI and some of the drawbacks. KEI is calculated quite easy and simple. You take the number of results in a search engine database and divide the number of searches. Uh, the results or pages you probably can find in several places, but uh, if you search like in Google, it says number of results, which is like pages that is in the index for this keyword. Then you have to divide it with the number of searches. It could be monthly uh, searches, locally or global or whatever is uh, suitable for your purpose. You can find that in uh, AdWords free keyword tool. They will give you this information. So let's try an example. Let's say that you search for something and you have uh, 224,000 something uh, pages in the index and uh, you find there's 821 uh, searches. So you take the 225,000 something and divide it with 821 and then you get 273. That means that for every one searcher there's 273 pages competing, which is basically what the KEI index is saying. Let's look at a more realistic uh, uh, numbers for KEI, and that would be something like with 11 million uh, something results and two searches uh, globally. And then you get a KEI on 5,600,000 something. Let's look what happens when, uh, when we change some of the parameters here. If we increase the number of uh, searches, then uh, this one would increase and then the KAI will fall and we like that because a low KAI means uh, less, less uh, pages competing for each searcher. If the number of pages increase, the KAI would increase as well. And we don't like that, that means more pages competing for the same searches. There are some drawbacks, so let's go through some of them. Uh, you have to bear in mind that the position of the words mean quite a lot. Uh, and if you get a low KEI on some keywords, you have to do some thinking. Is this a natural order that the keyword is in position? Because usually you, uh, you search for your keyword phrase to find the number of pages in quote to get it like more precise. Let me give you an example. Let's say you search for keyword report, you find 534,000 results in Google. If you change the order and search for report keyword, you get 29,100. And then you're going to ask yourself, is there 18 times less competition for report keyword than keyword report? And the answer is probably no, there's not 18 times less. It's probably the same result, maybe one in top 10 is changed. But neither the less is a lot less uh, pages to compete with when you calculate KEI, but in reality it's the same number. Another thing is the amount of words that you have in your keyword. Let's illustrate it with that, like, let's imagine that you have a keyword with six words in, and then you have a keyword with three words in, and they, say they have the same KI. The one with uh, three keywords in 
will probably have these keywords in many pages around by accident. Uh, a lot more than the one with six is more unlikely to find these six keywords uh, by accident in, in some of the index than just these three. So basically it means you're more keyword than uh, then you will get a lower KEI uh, or you would expect it. So you will be more happy with a, a little bit higher KEI for a shorter search phrase uh, because that probably means less competition. Then the numbers are not accurate. We, we, are, we are having results and searches and none of them is calculated accurate. Sometimes Google knows better, they just put a number between some kind of uh, interval. If you refresh, you get a, a different number and it is difficult to get like a good source for the number you are competing with. The same with the searches. Uh, there can be all kind of insecurities about this. Uh, it can be calculated in many different ways. Uh, and many of the searches are not even human. It's robots, it's crawlers, uh, they're collecting all kind of information. Some of them I'm sure is out there and calculating KEI uh, and you will have really big problems converting them to customers. So instead of uh, focusing too much on KEI, which I don't use personally and I never had any good experience with it, I, I look at uh, another method which I'm going to share with you. First, what I do is that I find uh, long tail keywords that is searched and it's important that they are searched so you get them from a good source so you know people are using them. Then I look at these keywords and I, I look what is people looking for. Okay, uh, and I look at the value. Is it like, uh, is there some kind of transaction that I can be the middleman or the end of? Because if people are buying or selling or something, uh, there's money to be made there. So it is important. So. Uh, that I look really careful and estimate the value. You, you can also go on AdWords and you can see what is people bidding for this. Then to estimate the competition, uh, I look at top 10 results in Google. It is the one you are competing with. You want to be the first or the at least top three of uh, a long tail keyword. And then you have to compete with these 10 uh, results. And it, and it doesn't matter uh, the 200,000 something or other pages is top 10. If the competition is really hard there, then it's really difficult to compete. But if it's easy in top 10, there can be like millions of other pages. It doesn't matter. You'll be able to rank anyway. Then I give people what they're searching for. So if they want to buy something, I help them with the buying. If, uh, if they want to solve a problem, I help them solve the problem. Uh, and when you do that, it gets a lot easier. And the search engine gets better all the time. So if you just help people on the way, uh, everything becomes a lot easier. Five. Do your thing, do your search engine optimization, do your social media, your paid advertising, whatever you need to do and to rank for, for, for your keyword and that way you can have a consistent income uh, by using this method instead of trusting too much on keyword efficiency 